Welcome to another interesting episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. Yes, that's me. Hi. Hello. How's it going? How are you guys doing? You want to bat? <laughs> I'm enjoying my tea. Um, what kind of tea is that? <laughs> Okay. Sorry, guys. Inside, <laughs> Inside joke. joke. Inside joke. Let's, yeah. mm, let's moving just, on. Yeah. So, um, rapper Eric Gamoni says he regained peace of mind since he stopped following coronavirus updates. In his words, quote, since I stopped following or reading daily updates on COVID-19, I have regained my peace of mind. Make fear no go kill person before COVID-19. End of quote. And I think I can totally relate. Mm. There was a time I stopped. Like completely, but because you work in the media, you cannot mm. completely. Yeah. But, <laughs> it was when I opened my phone and I see one, two, my mind would do bim, bim. Yeah. But I had to like take a step back. Then if you notice, I was constantly sharing NCDC. Um, whenever they put out the updates flyer, mm. I'll share it. Mm. At some point, I'm like, babe, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. I think I also stopped. I saw, I, last time I checked, I was on maybe like 8,000 cases. And then I stopped, and then we were now in like 16,000 cases. So during that period of, I was not following them. And then mm. I was just scrolling through, and somebody posted, um, liked it, and I saw 16,000. Uh. I'm like, fam! <laughs> Freaked out. <laughs> what is happening? And I've been following it, and now we're on 20,000 something. So mm. On 21,900 and... You but, you, do you know what? I stopped at 920 it. because I know before the show is over, it's probably 930. No, they release the update at, at night, night yeah. like at 11 night. p.m. Yeah. Those people, they are strategic. So. And they make sure it's not 6 6 6. Like, is it actually 6 7? <laughs> or 6 6 4? Oh, God. So, I, um, I, I hope this will end soon so that we I can actually so really joke about this. And it's sad that we are losing people as well, but. Well, and it's so sad that a lot of people still think it's a hose. It oh, isn't. still do. Yes, a lot it of people. Not, I think. Still I think, think it's slowly, a unfortunately, because I remember when somebody was saying this. You no, know, it was another topic when somebody said, "I hope you don't understand a situation because you, for you to understand it means you've been close to the situation and stuff." Mm. And I think, unfortunately, it would only that take was, people um, to the story about Anita uh, Joseph, uh, Marita, um, Marita yeah. Rape, yeah. <clears throat> and. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm glad per se, but it seems to be tricky, trickling down to the nobodies, quote unquote, like mm. the normal civilian. And people are beginning to actually Understand. know someone who knows it's someone who knows has someone either, that's gotten it or knows someone who knows someone, someone that has know? gotten it. Yeah. yeah. But it's now beginning to look like we don't care because um, even when you look at the restrictions of public transportation mm. i don't think they follow it strictly mm. because i still see a lot of bosses i still see I think, a lot of I think people, people care but mark. people care about other things a lot more so it's hard to really give into coronavirus like if you're going to treat the virus like it needs it's it's really hard like <coughs> I even think, oh, oh it's not real <laughs> it's not real now it's definitely mm. not real now do we need to take a break Bam. no 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 we're fine do you want to okay. scoot over a bit <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, i think it's hard for people to really do what you need to do in terms of like really isolating yourself and just to bring in the conversation of the um is he who is in our mental health no yes um the actor that committed suicide um, steve Blink. Exactly. Blink. He, yeah. he, he, um, because it's hard having your normalcy taken away from you. And I think some people are just really blessed to have, well, I guess, a balanced hormone. I don't even know what yeah, hereditary your, your, your complacency and how you are made that you don't, you can handle um, change this mm. drastic better than others. But not everyone is lucky mm -hmm. enough to do that. Mm. We lost an auntie. I, I put it on Twitter um, in, to COVID 19. I, I saw her like a two months before. All of this stuff she came to sleep over with my mom and mm. she's gone now and she died very quickly um from when we we knew that she had the virus to when she died mm. and it, what the doctor kept saying that sometimes the fear even kills you before the disease yeah. so it's killing people who have it it's killing people who don't have it this fear thing and managing depression is like a real thing yeah and then i think i'll just use this to advise people if you have any health condition it's best to stay away from hospitals because um yes it's good to go to hospitals but just be, Maybe make be, a phone call. Yeah, make a you. phone call and yeah. all of that because a lot of people have ended up getting the virus from so, going to the hospitals. Okay. I lost my uncle just because wow, he visited the hosp hospital as well. He had an underlying health condition, but he went to the hospital and got the virus. So 
it's people need to be well informed so just don't walk into anywhere especially where you can have sick people because you don't know what people are being diagnosed of mm. when they walk into the hospital for now i think for me the fear is good and bad mm. and now I, I i want you to have a level of fear that enables you to follow the guidelines of the ncdc but don't be so scared about the virus to think that once you get it because that's a possibility right now we are beginning to know people who know people or even know somebody who's got the virus so don't be scared to the point where you think that once you get it is a death sentence it is mm. not a death sentence and like if has rightly said if you have underlying health issues yes it's it will be an uphill battle but you can survive it and yeah. people are surviving it yeah. so let's manage that fear properly because mm. it will it will not be a good case and i think people like you said are dying from fear mm. rather than the um, virus, virus as well so let's let's just have that at the back of our minds that yeah, we need to absolutely. be able to do the right thing but also know that just feed yourself right immune yeah. system boost up yourself and wait for the vibe because <laughs> oh the way it is we've got the community spread mm. so i don't know how possible it is that almost all of us will not get it though but <laughs> vitamin just vitamin c get ready is also very important take a lot of vitamin yeah, c please eat do. a lot of fruits vegetables I don't know. I'm talking like, <laughs> like, like I do it a lot. I'm guilty, but... We what are kind of thinking. vegetables do you take? Ah, which one? Eggplant. Where are we going with this now? Please. A furry roll. Eh? I don't even say come. eggplants, but... Um, which one is eggplant? No, I like a furry roll. Some people don't like um, edikai. I like a furry roll. I like mm. spinach as well. Is spinach mm. not a furry roll? <clears throat> That's the English It is version. actually. Yeah. Oh. It's my girl. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on to the next story, Stoneboy reacts to allegations that he sent people to beat Kevin Boy. Kevin Brown um, had sent out a series of tweets insinuating he escaped being beaten mercilessly by Stoneboy's former bodyguard. In a press statement, his record label said the accusation is very scandalous and calculated to cause disaffection for Stoneboy, the organization, and the brand. The statement read, and I quote, for the avoidance of doubt, we state emphatically that we are in no way associated with the alleged scuffle. End of quote. Mm. This is... Let's go say the first the Ghana yeah. boy. He, he probably knows who sent him now, so just wait. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I tried to, Find but out. I couldn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I couldn't reach the person. I would have. I would have found out if he was behind this or not, because apparently the guy used to belong to his record label. Mm -hmm. So it's not far fetched. We've seen contracts go bad, and then you're trying to prove a point, mm -hmm. especially with Stone Boy. Stone Boy, we know he has a temper, and we know how protective he can be mm -hmm. when he wants to. We saw it with the Shatawali mm -hmm. thing when he pulled out a gun on stage. We the also ghetto. Yeah, so it's not it's not from someone who has that type of history. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um, within my beyond my imagination, that I can pull. It's such not factually impossible. Borrowing mm. the English of Justin Bieber. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, it's not mm -hmm. factually impossible. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, it's factually impossible for him to actually pull the stunt. And of course, it's damage control. If you're accused of this type of thing, I'll definitely put out a statement to disassociate associate myself from it because you were just being um, what's it called now cautioned by the music body of Ghana mm. for your Shatawali and so. So it's you were getting cancelled. You were almost losing an endorsement and all of that so it's not impossible for you to say that i didn't do it but i don't think the artist this too the would just come out and say oh <clears throat> you did it so he insinuated it, yeah mm. it's one of those things like um when you start to have situations and why is your like this involved ex bodyguard and that's how it works is because the bodyguard off of everything that you said um a lot of the times when somebody is um will i say has the access to power like that it is easy for people to do your dirty work and it is hard to associate those two things so if i send someone to go I do my dirty work it, it's very easy for me to just deny that i didn't send the person the person just wanted to be a hooligan on their own so it's always hard like if you hear all the stories and the, like the cases that we've had in the past of like gangsters like mob gangsters that's how they've survived a lot of the times because they have ne not necessarily been caught in the act yeah, so this is one of those situations that will always be i said she said and it's hard to prove it the only person that maybe gets away with it for example in this case um, allegedly here now is the person that has the power to really package themselves and put lawyer and write fancy words but the truth of the matter is that we would never really know for sure if mm. he actually you two are not being fair to stone boy right now so i'll just say he has put out a statement let's just believe or not even him his record label so let's just believe them uh, who is the ceo of the record the... label what who is the ceo of the record label <sighs> 
they have put out a statement. He, said he has put out involved. a statement. <laughs> <laughs> let's just put it like that. Oh, let's, just, let's just believe him, right? Yeah. And yeah, um, the see the what's going to happen. Yeah. And at least okay. going forward, he, he probably needs to deploy his bodyguards to go and take care of Kevin. Is it brown or boy? Kevin, Kevin Budge. Yeah, Budge now. Nah. Kevin Boy. Oh, that, that's the Nigerian guy, Kevin ah. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin to Boy. go and protect him because if anything happens now, all fingers will be pointing at Stone, Stone Boy. Boy. So yeah. uh, he probably would want to spend some Ghana cities on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for a very quick break. But when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from my love we like. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. T.I. apologizes to his daughter, Deja Harris, following Hymen comments. He said, and I quote, or part of his uh, message, he said, I apologize to Deja. Um, you know I love you. You know I've always gone above and beyond to do everything and anything possible to make you happy and keep you protected. However, I must now acknowledge the fact that you have now become a young lady. I understand that some lessons are harder than others, but the important thing is make sure you get the lesson. Yeah, end of quote. So um, I, I don't think this is gone from people's mind, but to refresh, um, <laughs> T.I. Mm. granted an interview where he told us basically that he that takes his to daughter to daughter. the gynecologist every year to ensure, on her birthday, to ensure that she's still, or she was still a virgin. We don't know what has happened in the space of yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I, he's come out to apologize. Mm -hmm. And that generated a lot of conversation. Lot. Tea time on The Advocate, a on lot. The View, on... I think all the shows on the planet had yeah. talked about it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I can understand why they talked about it. It's it's such a tricky but juicy conversation. Um, I can An never... An important one, too. Yes. Yeah. What I would say, though, so I'm not repeating what has already been said, mm -hmm. is that it's really up to Deja. Is that how I say her name? Deja, for her to really be grounded in what's what's real. Um, yes, your father's um, intentions are pure, and I think maybe his actions, his display of those intentions may have been a bit drastic and worrying and troubling and all blah, 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 blah. But remember that, because I'm seeing her almost like, it looks like she's being influenced by um, social media hate. Mm. You know, sometimes something would happen to you and... It's not paying you plenty. You, know, so you go to Twitter you. and they say, and then ah, you ah, this thing's supposed to pay you me. You said show on that show. Like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be upset and they start to like really break down the man's intentions and poison it even yeah. more. And I saw her liking things, and there was a phase where she was a time where she was not even following her father. And I think you have to remember that it I is liking a lot of negative comments things that about that were said. And, and it's obviously it's, it's it's natural. She's pretty young and everything, but I, I hope that she remembers that because you have to remember that a man that is going going all out to even be toxically caring is mm. a blessing. Mm. Like you have a lot of people who don't really care about you, and he's right to a point to say that um, you know sex. As, as for a young woman, it's, it's very a, tricky, it's a huge and you need I, guidance I, I, to I, that. I, so. I want to um, take a guide from what you just said. Toxic caring is not caring. Mm. If you care about me toxically, like okay, it's like a man who beats his wife and comes back home with luxurious things and gift and all of that, and you say, oh, he cares that we stay in it, and at least so he gives you. Are you saying he's not toxic caring? caring? No. Mm? Are you saying he's not I'm doing saying, toxic I'm, caring? I'm saying that that he's, type of care. It's okay for you to go to the guy, but you know what? It is arguable in the sense that 
we have a lot of women that don't have their eye intact, mm. but they're still virgins. Yes, yeah. exercises, mm, okay. riding bicycles, mm. and figuring. all of that. But let's not, so, let's not go back to this. You know, like she said, we've had we've flogged yeah. this conversation. We've brought the... Yeah, so and that is a very toxic relationship. No, it is for a father to trust his daughter's words. Trust mm. is the key element in a father-daughter relationship. How many fathers do you trust their daughter's words when it comes to sexual um, Which is the problem. Which is what... T.I. T.I. doesn't need any gynecologist. But I think he has he a problem. Yeah. yeah, and so he's let you see this. that this is not a man that beats his wife. This is a man that cares about his daughter, but doesn't know good communication skills and has trust and he's issues. Learning. And he's learning about and that. And I think about this, this is something that is forgivable. To compare this to somebody um, bashing his wife is like a bit extreme. Mm. And I think she, like Ife Omai said, she needs to... I don't want to use words now that will fit, make that will sound like I'm being insensitive to however she might feel because I'm not in that shoe. Um, aside him being your father, you can't even compare this to what happens in your immediate family in your room and in your house. This is something that happened publicly. So she has to deal with it mm -hmm. um, on on different levels that we might not never be able to understand. Mm -hmm. So I understand that as well. But she needs to take a step back and understand that this is still your father that has, regardless of his um extended and lovely big family he's always been there for his kids mm. and you can't say that for people like future and the rest so mm -hmm. um just look at it from that angle and try to forgive and make up really because i just hope she wrong. can forgive him though because yeah. um this is a man who has realized this mistake i'm pretty sure and she will and i think that's what will. he was trying to do on the red table talk um mm -hmm. conversation that he had um you have to think about his lifestyle the kind of man he is as and well he has seen because and things he has done things he has done to women mm -hmm. so um if you think about if you consider all of those things and know that yeah he was parents are human beings he's incapable he was to this point he was incapable of even knowing how to have a healthy conversation because i wasn't even thinking in a healthy um way but the point is i think he has learned and is willing to have that he just really needs to shut up about a lot of people see TI. His family business and not put that on TV, especially when it comes to your mind. A lot of people see TI. Life, so that might be impossible. A lot of people see TI and they're like, oh, he looks calm, it looks. But TI is a true gangster. That's mm -hmm. the truth that a lot of people don't even know yeah. about. Like, he's a total street boy. Forget all those good ah, looks and good a, boy he's looks. A, he's, he's good and for yeah, the yeah. yeah, yeah, but mm. he's a street boy. Yeah, he grew up be, on yeah. the street. If you've mm. seen ATL, you would know that. Yeah. Yeah. But he's also a smart man, actually. Very, Very smart man. He turned this crime case into a reality show. Who does that? Come on, man. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next story. Um, this one says, salary is medicine for managing the disease of poverty. It can't cure it. Only your, biz your own business can cure poverty. Poverty isn't just about money. Time is more valuable than money. If another man controls your time, you're poor even if you earn much. Salary is like a cage. Some cages are big, others are small. They are still cages because you can only move around within the boundaries of the cage. A big salary is a big cage. A small salary is a small cage. Big or small, you're still not free. And this is coming from the one and only <sighs> Reno Mockery. The prophet in this case because he's preaching to the choir. He's so, preaching so, to the choir. <laughs> but my only question is, are you in a him? small or big cage? Sorry, do you agree I mean, with him? I agree with him. Yeah, in what? I'm in a small cage. My cage how, is too how small. Are you small. So are you saying that all business owners are not in the cage? No, in no, this we cage, can't say in not this cage, all. yes. This is my this is my thoughts on it. I agree hundred percent everything that he said, but mm -hmm. I think that a lot of people are happy with the cages that they have. In the end at the end of the day, on the larger scale of things, everybody's in a cage somehow. Um, mm. and it's up to you to decide what cage you want and if you're comfortable with that cage. A lot of the times, which is why I agree so you can solely, also have your own kind of cage. You can and you can make your cage comfortable. You can put windows, you can make a flower, you can you can get uh, comfortable and, and, in, and in, in that. And I think that cage. a lot of people don't think a lot that even while you're working while you're in that cage you can still start your own personal thing mm -hmm. that can be more as long as it's not conflicting with the interest that's, of your that's immediate why boss the word cage in this context is kind of icky because I don't understand yeah. it, and I, I don't. So I, 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 okay, maybe you, I don't I, agree I, with I, the cage. No, I like the cage word because he's speaking to a choir, like you said. There is a lot of people, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot more than the people who are not in cages or whatever. There's a lot of people True when that. it comes to salaries that are in cages. It's comforting and it's a delusion, Work security hours. that you know, for whatever happens, it's not my headache. My salary is supposed to come. A lot of people who are who are salary owners, I would say eighty percent of sal salary owners don't like their cage. Age. So it's important. I feel like that's why it is suitable for I people remember. To, to use that. A lot of people don't like their cage. I know that one for sure. They don't like the job that they are doing. I can't what they like who are using the word cage? Yeah. There, it when is a cage, LC, Regardless to... about you want to look at it. So let me. I can't remember who I was driving with during the lockdown period. And then we realized that that me 
means that a lot of Nigerians spend like four hours, especially within this Lekki access, they spend like four to five hours in their very expensive apartments here because the roads are free and usually on a weekday you're in traffic to 9, it's 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I think this will sound more PM. palatable for me if you all come out to say life is a cage it's because a cage. at the end of the day, whether you're a business owner or you're the CEO or you're the chairman, you know you're, you're answerable to somebody, to somebody or some group of true, people. And true. it is never... See, it's easy for, for us to think that these people are having fun. But because... Maybe because I've been able to get into the space of a lot of entrepreneurs and these are not people that you would think oh they're just struggling their business is growing that one is under conversation on its own these are people that you look at from afar and you say oh my god they're these good. people are making money they have you know companies the in different uh, countries in africa and all but if you know how regulated their life is to be able to make those things happen they understand it's but not you, know the difference? you don't see any difference you know at the difference? all between saving you know the for yourself and slaving for another Thank company you. and the difference is that everybody they determine, cannot become a business they owner they determine or an the size so using of that their word cage. to push down on people Do you understand? who are probably they determine already the size. depressed yeah. is something i'm not they comfortable determine the with. bar material I like for the how you know they determine the they the determine whether the they legs. want to rock the, in their cage. They determine the cage should have know, disco lights. Class I like how you said that you, know? you can as well um, <laughs> find ways to um, design your cage or make it comfortable, which is um, one thing I know is not very um, common in this part of the world because even our employers are not nice people. So mm -hmm. there are people that want to use your life out of you. Yeah. And if you are not... Um, grounded if you don't know what you want if you don't have things to fall back on it's easy for you to now be in a cage that you cannot move your hand yeah. or move your leg because you don't want to lose that salary yeah. but if you understand your own rights and also have the capacity to communicate in a professional way mm. then you begin to understand that your cage can actually have flowers mm. and windows and all that and you can actually enjoy your job yeah. so i think we th there is a conversation that we have not started in this part of the world which is l l teaching people how to actually negotiate their yeah. ways at work and also get the job yeah. done i think the labor union in this country has a lot of then, work yeah to do because a what lot of abuse happens with flowers and windows useful for? It, no it, it, it's very useful if you like your flowers <laughs> 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 if you like your flowers sure i, but I, I, I do want to also add to that based on especially when of what you've said elsie is that a lot of the times not everyone finds it um something that they're interested in to build their own cage in terms of being an entrepreneur i've seen a lot of people especially older people like parents and so when i'm talking to them about wow you're so successful and they're nine to fives and i can see that mm -hmm. that is their purpose they are and built happy. to help the company grow they're not built to make their own company and lead and it's not a joke have a, they, <laughs> and, and these people are doing amazing well i would they wouldn't even describe it as their cage they'll probably even see that role as an entrepreneurial thing where they have owned when you start to own your your role like i'm not being employed and putting purpose to this em to this employment then it's, it's there's a difference there's a, there's a massive difference um, and i watched okay. the ceo of aliex sorry just to chip oh, this we need in. to wrap up be fair <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we wrap thank up you very much for that this reminder. episode of tea time thank you for watching <laughs> and join the conversation by sending your opinions via whatsapp to 09 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always well, goes to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Oshunke. Yes, that's me. Mm. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.